how cool is it to be a part of, of John's 150th win, but yet super bittersweet because it came at your expense? Yeah, you know, being in the other lane and being part of what went on, um, it's cool. And, and what's really neat is having all the people send me messages and clips of all of his milestone moments, which I happen to be next to him and a lot of those milestone moments. So uh, that was a big one, the 150. What's crazy to me is... I'm second on the all-time career win list with 62. Mm -hmm. He just won his 150th. So it puts it in perspective of how dominant he was uh, when I came into the sport as an NHRA driver. And really, I came in driving for Don Perdome, the snake, to beat John Forrest. So it's just ironic that I happened to be next to him when it happened uh, Sunday. It's kind of like one of those Cy Young record you know, things. I mean, will anybody, you think, ever get near that? And no. I mean, you're the closest guy. No, you and I tell people all the time, I will never be the winningest Nitro Funny Car driver. Now, I could go back to top fuel where I started than dragsters, but I will never be, no matter what. I don't think anybody will be the most winningest NHRA Funny Car driver more than John Force. He, he just dominated in the late 80s and the 90s so much. 16 championships. I mean, it's Earnhardt-like. It's Richard Petty-like. It's Elvis-like. Yeah. I mean, you go down the list, and that's what he is. You know, it's... Uh, People always ask. I run into people. I just did today at the airport. And they say, hey, what's John Forrest like? You know, it's a question I get all the time. Yeah. So it, it's kind of cool having him around. All right. We got to talk about the kiss, the epic kiss. Uh, <laughs> mm. What was your reaction to that? First of all, I'm, I was actually watching it live, too. And I went, oh, my God, he just kissed after he dropped his couple of F-bombs, which is yeah. hilarious. I don't know if you've seen yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I mean, we got to talk about the big smooch, man. Yeah, I... Uh, I flew home this morning and all I've seen is people with still pictures of the kiss. He's kissed me on the cheek a lot in the past. He's just fun and he gets crazy in his interviews and he lets words slip out. But when he grabbed me by both ears and he stared at me for a moment and I'm thinking to myself, we're on national television, don't do it, whatever. He, and he just was looking me in the eye and it was just that weird moment. And then he smooched me right on the lips and I, I, I didn't even know what to expect. I, I didn't know. It was one of those strange moments. You just won 150 races and you grab me and kiss me. But um, his wife was down there, so I, I know that I'm okay with his wife, at least. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty epic. Um, <laughs> epic, yeah. <laughs> epic yeah. maybe a different word of uh, choice, but no, that was funny. Um, as, as a friend of his, uh, how happy are you for him? Um, just, you know, in, in a serious sense. Yeah, no, it, it, you, you got to be happy for a guy like that. He has been in HRA for at least a couple decades. Again, I'm... That's the reason I wanted to drive a funny car is to beat John Force, and he is the name. And, you know, everything he does, you know, he got out of the car, did the interview, smooched me on the lips, and then ran up and jumped the fence, fell over, and climbed in the grandstands with the fans. So you never underestimate what John Force is going to do. He's Gary Busey, out of control, Elvis, just nuts, and you just don't know. So we're lucky to have him. Sometimes he scares me, but uh, I wouldn't ever not want to line up and go 330 miles per hour next to him like we did on Sunday. Yeah. All right, enough about John. Let's talk about you a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you got back to a finals race. Um, how do you feel your season's been going? I know you stall, kind of hit a slower point there for a while. How do you feel that your car's running and you're doing and, and getting in that finals? How'd that feel? Yeah, well, right now, I mean, we're good. We've won two races already. We're, we're sort of like uh, where the Padres are at right now, where you're, you're looking at what What's going to happen with playoffs? Because our playoffs are only three races away, and then it's a six-race playoffs down to Pomona in November. So we're trying to get into playoff mode, and it was good to go to a final round, even though we did lose. And um, you know, but you're you don't want to be in that uh, that wild card mode, and you want to kind of look at being at your best here in the next few races. So we've got Minnesota in a couple weeks, Indianapolis, the biggest race we have, the U.S. Nationals. That's in a few weeks, Labor Day weekend. So. That's the last point you can have your points and position yourself for the playoffs. So I, I, we're doing good right now, and I feel good about making a run for the championship again.